Hi, I'm Sally Hughes. Uh, today I'm in the flat of lovely Lila Parsons, who is a model, a TV presenter, a DJ and even a fashion designer. Um, I'm so thrilled to be here. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much for coming. Before we get on to your amazing wardrobe, which I'm desperate to get my hands on to, tell me about your start in fashion, because you started out really young as a model, walking for Westwood and Chanel. How was that? Well, I first got scouted as a model at 16 and did a few test shoots, but I actually didn't start working properly till I was 20, so in a way I was quite mature in comparison to a lot of the girls. Pretty surreal at And the what time. was it? Was it a show? Or it a was for Chanel Cosmetics. It was a worldwide advertorial. We went to Paris and shot in uh, Coco Chanel's original apartment there. It felt like a museum. Was there something about modelling that just wasn't really you or was it always a stepping stone? Modelling was the most amazing kind of window into a world that I knew I wanted to work in. It's uh -huh. like the best version of work experience. I wasn't just making coffee and not seeing anyone. You know, I was sitting there and Vivian Westwood was putting my hair up and thinking, oh, should we do this? As a model, I got a casting for a TV show and they wanted a judge for a modelling competition, but for dogs. And they basically wanted me to go on and be a bit like the sort of the Simon Cowell of the fashion world. It was okay. hilarious. I had the best time. I don't think it's going to win any Oscars. It all sort of happened really quickly. I never thought about becoming a presenter, but then once I started doing it, I was like, oh, this is really fun. How did your collection for Yumi come about? I'd been the face as Lila the presenter. We got on really well. I love wearing their clothes. They fit me really nicely. I felt good in them. They then approached me and said, hey, do you want to do your own capsule collection? Do you want to design for us? So how would you uh, describe your style and your aesthetic for the range? It's always quite ladylike with me. I'm a real dress fan, so I definitely focused on that. And I love kind of Parisian chic and, again, that word ladylike, which is always something I'm aspiring to achieve. So I think that's really where I started. I think we should probably have a look at some of your clothes and go through yes. some outfits. Those you've designed and those you haven't. So Lila, tell us about this gorgeous dress. Where did it come from and when did you wear it? Love this dress. It's from Kate Spade. In fact, I wore it to a Kate Spade dinner. And these are the shoes I wore it with. They're cool. Look, it was quite like a bright look, but I really enjoyed it. And then, this bag. I love that. I love flamingos. I don't really know why. They're just cool, aren't they? I completely agree. This shape is really good for the figure, isn't it? The kind of fit and flares we were talking about before. Kind right. of goes and nips in at the waist and then out again. I love it. I think it's so flattering on the sort of female form. Yeah. The boy that I was dating at the time said that I looked like a lampshade in this dress, but um, that did last long, the key so. word there is X. <laughs> yeah. um, so what do we have next? Okay, I think we should go for this outfit. So this is an outfit that I wore to London Fashion Week last season mm -hmm. and I overslept and I was meant to be somewhere so I literally got dressed in about 10 minutes. I think I had dirty hair and I just put loads of dry shampoo in and then just kind of threw this outfit together. In hindsight though, I actually really like it and I feel like sometimes it works better when you so don't. Serendipitous, everything yeah. kind of, yeah. I wasn't planning it but it was sort of full on 70s. So this warehouse dress. Mm -hmm. And then this amazing coat from H&M over the I top. I love that coat. Isn't it great? I do like a bit Super of Super cosy as well. This little bag from Radley. And then these sunglasses, which are sort of rose tinted, very, um, very 70s. And everyone asked me and thought they were designer and they're actually from Classic So now we're going to look at some of your own designs. What have you pulled from the range? So this is kind of my hero piece. I literally... <laughs> That's so silly, but I, I really dreamt this piece up, so I was very excited when we got the what, final. you literally dreamt it? Yes, it came out of my imagination. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love this. Yeah. The long sleeves, the collar, I really loved these mm. details. I, I wanted to make sure that we got the three buttons and they're all covered with the material, which I think is nice and high-end, even though it's high street. So what do we have last? Okay, Sally, so this jacket, I love it. I got it from Superdry a couple of years ago right before I went to Glastonbury for the first time. Uh -huh. It's a bit embarrassing, but basically I felt it looked a bit too new, you know, for that yeah, festival you thing. Don't want that. So I did a bit of Googling and I discovered that um, a trick that I'm sure the brand themselves would not recommend, but was to put it in the washing machine. And I did that and it came out looking really nice and weathered. So you took it to Glastonbury and what did you wear with it? I wore it with little t-shirts and, you know, summer dresses, that kind of thing, with uh, wellies, also with my Converse. My those look well loved, those Faithful Converse. Converse. Yeah, someone asked me earlier what's the um, most worn item in my wardrobe. Definitely these guys. I got them about three years ago. I'd never had a pair of Converse before and 
They've been by my side, well, underneath me ever since. So when you're at festivals, are you just completely pared down, dry shampoo, zero makeup? Yeah, keep it quite simple makeup wise at festivals. Definitely the dry shampoo. Although sometimes actually a bit of eyeliner rather than mascara. Uh -huh. um, just a bit of black coal, just sort of smudged into my lashes. And then probably just some of this. Some Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Classic. Cream, which is one of my favourites. And then on my face, probably just really simple, like maybe a bit of sun cream and a bit of tinted moisturiser or something. And then I really love this Dandelion Benefit, it's just super natural. Like a bit of pink on your cheek. Bit of pink. <laughs> Always works. Thank you so much, Lila Parsons, for having us round and for showing us your beautiful wardrobe. I officially have frock envy. Thank you for coming. It's been so much fun. It's been bliss. Thank you very much. And thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe because there'll be lots more when Sally met and lots of other stuff and also some extras across our social media channels Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Do have a look. Otherwise, I'll see you next time and thanks for watching.